Hey everybody, Matt here, Hollywood's Garage. Today is a bit of an update, um, having the ON3 turbo system kit on this LS, on this Ventura. Um, my previous video is I installed it, um, got it running, took it for a rip, everything was good, put the uh, muffler on it. But now it's kind of like a 200 kilometer update. I've probably done a little less than that even, but I've done some good pulls with it. I've posted some of them on um, my TikTok and my Instagram, so if you want to see kind of a behind the scenes stuff or whatever, go there, check it out. <clears throat> but any hoose, let's get on with it. So for the new followers, this is my 73 Pontiac Ventura. It's got a six liter LS with a four LED E transmission and just a stock 10 bolt rear end with uh, Eaton Posi and it in 410 gears. So I did the 410s before I had it turboed. Kind of wish I went 373s. Stocks were 308s, so even that would have been okay, but any hoose. Um, so I bought the car probably like seven, eight years ago. Had a blown up, uh, had no engine in it. The guy blew it up on NOS. So um, bought it and threw a 400 small block Chevy in it that I had in my third gen Camaro. And then I uh, took it and, and I did good at the track. It was only a turbo 350 trans, a little bit of a stall. Uh, and the foreign small block was done up a little bit bore tech heads and whatnot but uh here side note you can see where the car burn was car fire from the backfire on the nos any hoose um so anyway the 13 8 ish uh, six liter ls swap the lq4 with uh, 799 heads uh four lady e-trans with a normal stall at the time and i was still running the 308 gears then and everyone knows it's four LADEs have a tall first gear. Like I could almost do 100 to first gear with the uh, stock setup with 308 gears in the back. So it went to four tens. Now my time matched my 400 small block Chevy that were um, that was a 13.8. So I was like, ah, it's not good enough. Like it's got a it's got a sloppy stage two cam in it. Uh, the heads, like I said. Other than that, like it's pretty much all performance I've done. And I had mid length uh, headers on it and true dual exhaust. I don't know. That really matter. But anyway, so I threw the on three turbo on it. It's a single 7875. And uh, it's actually meant for the first gen Camaro, but everyone knows that it's the same subframe and stuff as uh, the Novas and Pontiacs and Buicks. But the only thing I had to change was the intercooler, the one that they supplied, which is an awesome one. It was thick, it was long, it was well made, it was heavy, good cooler, didn't fit. They had the outlets kind of out front and like that way or they were meant to go backwards but regardless something was different in the front so i had to buy just the amazon one turned out pretty good got it to fit up pretty good with the stock piping i had to modify this pipe the most to fit but i'm only running seven pounds wastegate right now um it did come with another five pound spring so that would be what 12 and then it also came with a manual boost controller um never uh i'm not touching that yet i'm still kind of having fun with the six pounds it's enough with the 410 gears that it'll break loose in any gear uh so yeah kind of the clean install clean install the wiring is the wiring in the back that's the fi tech wiring harness that's what i'm running for a standalone computer tuned it myself um running 93 octane my guess my guess for horsepower at the wheels probably 550 to 600 600 tops um the guy that the on three guys that when they built the kit they had it on a first gen camaro with a stock 5.3 in it i don't even know if it had a camera or not i can't remember it says it on their website but i uh and they had 525 to the wheels with the smaller turbo to match the 5.3 so this should be up there this should be 550 ish around there i'm running a 370 lph um, in tank fuel pump the holly one holly sniper kit direct you just cut the hole and fit, put it in i have no baffles so i gotta be careful where my fuel tank level's at also um only running 55 pound injectors so that's what's kind of limiting me for putting a bit more um i guess more psi out of there right to get more up boost but so far it's been good. My poles have been uh, consistently at 11 and a half AFRs where I have it set at. And my spark is re really reserved for 93 octane. I don't want to blow this thing up. Uh, and it's also a junk air six liter because my last one ended up having, I think the thrust bearing, you know, shit the bed. Um, it ran great, it had no noises, but I must have caught it in time, but I found some oil or some brass or whatever, bronze in the uh, oil pan. So got this junk air to LQ4, same year, everything. I put my hands on it, my cam, all that. Uh, video on that too. But in this video, we're gonna do some polls. I downloaded an app that'll do zero to 60 miles, or it'll do, and it'll also do quarter mile. 
So put your guesses down in the comments below what you think this thing's gonna run. Of course, I'm only running kind of a street tire there. I'm running the Falcon Zinis AT615Ks. Sticky tire, meant for autocross, obviously. Not really meant for this. So if you get them too hot, they just get slippery. But um, and only a two, 255 rear because I like more of the tuck look than having it wide and you know high up in the back to fit a wide tire with a nine and a half inch wide wheel. So let's go uh, see what we can do for some poles. And I have my, I don't have a draggy, like I said, just an app on my iPhone. So we'll use that for grain of salt, but bleep, bloop it down in the comments what you think we're gonna run. back home and that's always a good result at the end of a few hard pulls that's the hardest i've ever driven this car since turbo again Whew. oil pressure was still good we're still at 40 ish hot um and i did like with three or four what back-to-back -back hot, hot laps i idled it and drove it for like a kilometer between to cool off the iats but i mean i'm super stoked with that time if that app is any you know if it's correct at all obviously um take it with a grain of salt it's not a draggy it's not a quarter mile professional track but i'll take 12 seconds considering i was 13 8 before and i had no traction to begin with like if i was on a track even if it wasn't prep just a track well man i'd be i'd be a bit you low i'd be mid 11s to high 11s um as long as i keep the engine together but i only am running seven pounds and pretty conservative on timing and and my AFR is at 11 and a half, so fingers crossed. It's a junkyard engine. I'm going to have to go through, now that I really heat soaked all that exhaust, I'm going to have to go through it all and uh, just make sure all my, I have no exhaust leaks, the clamps are tight. Um, go through all my V bands, give them, you know, some turns and uh, maybe the header bolts. I've done that a few times, just, you know, little turns ever since I got them heat cycled. But yeah, it's looking good. I'll probably, even the stainless looks all good now. It's all the same color. She got hot. So I'm probably going to change the oil on it now. Um, I did run some assembly lube on it in the cam when I installed it. So um, just, uh, darn, I forget what it's called. 
just like a generic grease generic i guess lube um so we'll get that all rinsed up oil was full level before i left i checked out my fluids everything was good doesn't leak a drop of oil doesn't eat a drop of oil it's really good even the blow by you know every v goes blow by but like i had a little bit of moisture but that's not bad and using this filter too i don't think this filter is rated for more than four 500 horse like it's got the cone in the front too but could take it off or run a turbo guard i should probably give it a clean i had it on my old setup but overall stoked about that it's fine these cars are squirrely at 200 kilometers an hour these old these old con like these were economy cars back in 73 they were right when 73 was happening when the government was getting really mandated on mileage and bumpers and like look at that thing it's huge so government it's what happens when government gets evolved um Chevy and Ford and all them got to make economy cars. This car came factory with an inline six. It was a base model. Pontiacs all came with power steering. That's the only thing this thing had. So it had at least a good rear end, at least that I know of. I don't know if it's original, but it's got the good 10 bolt, eight and a half, not the seven and a half. Uh, it had the, it would have had a two speed in it. So it, what, power glide? And then it had the inline six. So gee, it was a dog from factory. But when I bought it, someone used it as a drag car. So, um, well, drag car. I mean, let's be real. I added a bunch of stuff to it since, but yeah, that's pretty. That's where we're at with this car. So thanks for watching. Hopefully that answers any of your questions with on three and the turbo kit on like a first gen Camaro or a Nova. Um. Anyway, guys, let me uh, let me know if your time was even. You know, when you bleep blooped it down in the box, it was close to what um that app stated there and what I yelled out there. But I'll uh, in this video I'll put what it read too as well. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.